welcome to today's video in this video i'm going to show you how you can answer a question this question is gotten from the um from uh, a past paper that is 2016 mathematics grade 9 uh, and it was question 1d and the question was as follows mr matanki bought a cylindrical tank to store drinking water the tank has height of 70 centimeter and radius of 20 centimeter calculate its volume take pi equals to 22 over 7 so take pi to be 22 over 7 so here they have told you to use the pi which is 22 over 7 so what you need to do first uh, you need to find the correct formula so the formula for volume of a cylinder is um, volume is equal to pi r squared h pi r squared h okay once you have done that then the next thing you are going to uh, replace these letters by their values so the, the pi is um, 22 over 7 okay and the radius is 20 centimeter so we are going to have multiplied by 20 centimeter squared which will be multiplied by uh, the height which is 70 centimeter once you have done that then the next thing we're going to do is i'm going to um, evaluate 20 centimeter squared then i'm going to write 22 over 7 times <coughs> Uh, 400 centimeter squared when you evaluate 20 centimeter squared will give you 400 centimeter squared which will be multiplied by 70 centimeter okay once you've done that then the next thing we're going to do is i'm going to get rid of the fraction so i'm going to find a number that i can divide 7 uh, by okay i'm going to find a number that has a common factor with 7 a number that has a common factor with 7 among the numbers on top. So we have got numbers on top which are 22, 400, and 70. These are numbers which are on top. So the one number 7 has a common factor with is 70. 70 has the common factor with 7. So which one is the highest common factor of 7 and 70? It's 7 itself. So 7 into 7. 7 will be cancelled. 7 divided by or 70 divided by 7 will give us 10. Okay. So when it, we we when you we divide 70 by uh, 7 will give us 10. Now at this stage I'm going to write what is remaining on that expression. On the fraction part where there is a pi, we are remaining with 22. Then <clears throat> on the middle where there is 400 centimeter squared, we are also remaining with 400 centimeter squared multiplied by. Now where there was 70 centimeter, we are remaining with 10 centimeter times 10 centimeter. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this by. Uh, I'm going to multiply those two terms. 22 multiplied by 400 centimeter squared, which will give us 8,000. Uh, 8,000. 800 centimeter squared which will be multiplied by 10 which will give us now when you multiply 8800 centimeter squared multiplied by 10 will give us 88000 centimeter cubic when you multiply 8800 centimeter squared by 10 will give us 88000 centimeter cubic and that is the volume of the cylinder okay if you have got questions you can ask us in the comment section otherwise thank you so much for watching it has been easy learning z mathematics the future is bright see you in the next video and god bless you